Special Prosecutor Bob Mueller's team loses this case. Is the Russia probe in trouble? The White House says it has nothing to do with the Russia collusion, and the president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, is calling it illegitimate. Here to sort it all out, we have Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. You were surprised the judge I was uh, shocked. Made that I comment, mean, huh? judges have an unwritten rule not to interrupt opening and closing statements unless something so wrong is being said that it's going to infect the trial. But this judge is not a keen on the government's case. This is the federal judge who basically said to the prosecutors in the courtroom, Bob Mueller has sent you here to squeeze this guy, points at Paul Manafort, to get information out of him that will help indict, charge, embarrass, or impeach the president of the United States, and I don't want to be part of it. And then they persuaded him that it was a legitimate case, and that's why the case is, is going forward. Mm. So there's two arguments here. Okay. One is the judge is right. The only reason they are prosecuting Paul Manafort is because they want him two trials, two months in solitary confinement. They're imposing about the most legal pressure they can possibly put on an innocent person. They want him to squeal on something, they don't know what, on Donald Trump. The other argument is they're prosecutors. If they're looking for Russian collusion and they stumble on bank fraud, they can't look the other way. Uh, they have to keep digging and prosecute and the bank fraud. And this is part fraud. of the problem with the, uh, with the special prosecutor, as you right. said from the beginning, because you're going to find something right. along the way. Paul Manafort's lawyers are former federal prosecutors who are every bit as talented and experienced as the people on the other side of, uh, of the courtroom. One of their arguments is this. Paul Manafort was investigated by the federal government, by a team of federal prosecutors and FBI agents for all this stuff eight years ago, and they exonerated him. And who was the young prosecutor that led that exoneration? Rod Rosenstein, who now runs the Justice Department. And they have threatened to call Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein as their first witness and have him give to the jury all the reasons why he declined the prosecution of these charges eight years ago. Do you think they have gotten anything from him? Has Mueller's team gotten what they wanted or needed from, or hoped to find from, from Paul Manafort? Manafort? Absolutely. Anything at all? Absolutely not. In fact, on the steps of the courthouse this morning, after jury selection, this afternoon actually, and before these opening statements, Manafort's lawyer turned to the press and said, all deals are off. We will not settle, we will not settle anything. We won't give them anything. We're rolling the dice with the jury. Mm -hmm. I mean, collusion. Is one thing. By the way, collusion is a really bad word, right? The, the term is, you know, itself doesn't make. I am sense so happy you said that. Uh, you know, I read a column every Thursday, FoxNews.com and elsewhere. And my column this week is that collusion is a Hollywood and a media term. The crime is conspiracy, an agreement to commit a crime, whether or not you actually commit it. So for Rudy Giuliani to say there's no such crime as collusion, he's right. But that's the wrong word. Hey, can I ask you about this one? Because the collusion uh, argument from the left is that somehow because Don Jr. had this meeting with the Russian lawyer, that somehow that is, quote unquote, proof of that term that you're not wild about, collusion. But at the same time, Judge, you had Hillary's camp going all the way to Russia on foreign soil, paying for intel to dig up dirt on Donald Trump. I, I mean, if one is collusion, why isn't the other? Well, again, it's conspiracy, not collusion. Yeah. But I have been complaining for 18 months now about the Justice Department's looking the other way of the, over the many crimes of Hillary Clinton. They are not bound by Jim Comey's statement that she's not going to be prosecuted. They are not bound by any decision uh, by Loretta Lynch not to prosecute her, but they don't want to go near it. Yeah. All right. Judge, good to see you. Oh, it's always a pleasure, Trish. <laughs>